Good evening, and welcome to Let's Talk with Lakshmi, a show about us, our people, our community, our culture, our experiences. And viewers, I am in the lovely, beautiful Diana, sitting in the back of the Princess Hotel with guess who? Them I watch me, how them I watch me, them I watch me. If I'm my defense, I'm not gaffing with me neighbor, them I watch me, them I watch me. Well, I want to thank you, Lachmi, real good. I want to thank you guys for the great job that you're doing all the way from New York, traveling around the world, and use you guys at helping us to be more popular. And all our artists, uh, on behalf of all the artists in the Caribbean, Mahendra, want to say thank you. And I'm doing real good. Mahendra, thank you so much, and thank you for that humble, humble welcoming. So, Mahendra, everyone in New York City, in the Caribbean, all over the world, know you and know you as the famous demo watchman but we're here today to talk a little bit more about you so the first thing we all want to know is where are you from well originally i'm from guyana and uh, from the country area of west coast uh, west coast demerara a village called lenora okay. originally from there and um you know i get married mm -hmm. and uh, now in georgetown okay do you have any children one child Boy or girl? A girl, uh, in fact, it is her birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday! And, uh, Samaria, she name, and she also singing too. Okay, Happy birthday, Samaria, and I'm sure we're going to be seeing you on TV quite soon as well. So, Mahedra, tell me, when did you get into music? Well, just about seven to eight years I get into music and song, and I was more of a songwriter. And, you know, I said, listen, writing song and giving everybody, write song for Adish, write song for Ricky Jai and all the other guys, uh, I can sing it myself. So I decided to start singing myself. Okay, well, one thing about music, I think the most important thing about music is actually being able to write about music. I mean, many people can sing, but they cannot come up with lyrics. So you have probably one of the hardest jobs. Well, I, you, I should say that uh, it's the easiest job for me. But um, the other artists, them getting song to write is not an easy task. I think it's a talent you have to burn with. Um, uh, I have to thank Almighty God for that. Uh, it's a talent because I know singers sing one song and never with any other song. So it. it's good. All right, a, a, a one night wonder, right? Yeah, one night wonder. So being as poetic as you are to be a song uh, writer, I'm, I'm assuming is that how you uh, got your wife? Well, no, uh, definitely not, no, definitely not, no. No. Okay. She just, there was just love at first sight. Well, yeah, uh, I was singing, yes, I was singing, and I see the girl, I say, you're a beautiful girl. I want to marry you. So you, you were watching her? I was watching her. So let's talk about the Demo Watchman song. How did that song come about? Um, Demo Watchman is a normal, basic thing that happened uh, all over in the world. Uh, that is why the song is so popular. You buy a car, they're watching you. You buy a, a, a motorbike, they're watching you. You're lying with your knees in the bar, they're watching you. Right now, them boys watching me. Are we talking? So, so it's a normal thing that's happening in Guyana every day. Well, viewers, we're actually by the poolside. We had to actually move over because everybody was watching Mahendra. All these little kids, they were rushing up to him, hugging him, kissing him. And what a great guy. He went to his car, got some CDs, and just gave everybody free CDs. If I'm my defense, I'm not gaffing with me neighbor. Them I watch me, them I watch me. If I'm in the club, I'm not dancing with me knees. Them I watch me, them I watch me. If I'm by a car, or a new house I love. Them I watch me, how them I watch me. Them I watch me, how them I watch me. Them I watch me.
them I watch me. Oh, them I watch me. Them I watch me. If I buy the fence and I can't feel let me neighbor, them I watch me. Them I watch me. If I in the crowd and I dance and let me knees, them I watch me. Them I watch me. If I buy a car or a new house and land, them I watch me. How oh, them I watch me. Them I watch me. How oh, them I watch me. Them I watch me. Introducing all new Radio Guyana in international. International. Your hit station for the ultimate hits for news, interviews, and latest tracks. Log on all day, every day. Taking Guyanese entertainment to the next level. It's Radio Guyana International. No broadcasting in HD. So let's talk about your entertainment group. You have a group called the Caribbean Fire Fest Productions, and from what I understand, you guys have the biggest Caribbean event right here in Guyana. Let's talk about, I believe it's called uh, Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans, definite show. Uh, you know what lets me, the Caribbean, all the bands, Trevini and everybody, they, they're crazy. They want to know who owns Caribbean Firefest production. Everybody, even in Guyana, think is a tremendous company. But Caribbean Firefest production, I can say this live, I can say this clean and clear, only owned by Mahendra. No other boss, no other body. So um, the show Clash of the Titans, we started last year. We decided, listen, I want every band to come and clash. The energy, the power, and the strength. And we, we the Caribbean Fire Fest production, we can boast. We do the cleanest show in Guyana. And even the, the Caribbean. Uh, what now, when you say by cleanest, what do, what, what do you mean by cleanest? means what we said we delivered is one and two. Uh, nothing vulgar on our stage. Okay. So that every family and friend can come and enjoy our show, our atmosphere. We always have things for kids. We always have a singer for kids. Actually, I'm bringing Avinash Maraj. He's tremendous popular right now, the little guy from Trinidad. So a couple thousand kids coming to see him. So we have clean entertainment, and uh, the country respect us. The country respect us with timing. When Mahendra said 8.30, the show have to kick 8.30. Right. Yeah. So, so it's not what they normally say, standard guy needs time, right? It's not late. It's on time. So. I heard last year Clash of the Titans was about 26,000 people? Last year we had 26,000 people that we counted. Uh, I don't know how much sneak in and whatever and how much free ticket we give away. But this year, this year I know it's going to be bigger. Uh, people was already prepared from last year for Clash of the Titans this year. Uh, we have bring more bands. In total we have 53 artists uh, that are without musicians. So we are bringing more bands this year, more people is coming, more hype. We are bringing in a container load with uh, the sparkle and the flare and all fireworks. these fireworks and all these things coming in. So we're going to make it more hype and we're going to let the world know what is Clash of the Titans, what is the beauty of Guyana and the, the great hospitality of the people of Guyana. Now you've grown so huge that Clash of the Titans is now being held at the Guyana National Stadium. When is that show going to be? The third of March at the Guyana National Stadium, and for the first time, the tenth of March, we're taking it Bobby's. So it's two big shows. The beauty about Clash of the Titans, you know, last year, Lachmi, there was a there was a little uproar and whatever with the Chutney Soka Monarch in Trinidad. Uh, someone said that Ravi B. Pelton, which we know, and Ricky Jai, and they had this whole big uproar going and problem going. You know what Clash of the Titans did to that? Clash of the Titans bring all the artists into Guyana. And you know what I tell them? Nobody at the airport, nobody uh, fight politics on my show. I would put you off the stage. Automatically, that show bring back all these artists together, happy, gaffing, talking with one another, and bring back all the unity in them. So Clash of the Titans is for the first time in the whole Caribbean, North America, that all these artists is reaching in one hotel, one dressing room, one airport, and everything is so beautiful to be among them. Excellent, excellent. Now, you mentioned Chutney Soka Monarch. And uh, Chutney Soka Monarch is coming up very, very shortly. The uh, finals is coming up now. Will you be representing Guyana? Well, that's me. You know what? I am always the simplest guy to talk to. And uh, I would never say Mahendra is going to win. I would never say he's going to lose. Uh, we're going to try a thing. We are Guyanese, and, and it would be the greatest thing if uh, Chutney Soka Monarch King from Guyana, for the, that would create a history that would put Guyana on the world map in terms of entertainment. And 
We will work hard. We will work hard. We know once we're there, we will work hard. Now, about how many votes do you think you would need to win the Chetney Soka Monarch? Well, last year, I know the champion, Ricky Jai. I want to thank Ricky Jai for his encouragement up to today. I want to thank all the artists in the Caribbean, North America, that work with me, and I working with them. So, uh, the last year, Ricky Jai win with 18,000 votes. 18,000 votes. Um, I, I know for the fact, for sure, my village alone have 18,000 people. So, so I think uh, once Mahendra in the final is 118,000 is going to vote. Wow. Now, you also were very big with the PPP rally, and you sang a song off of the Dema Watch Me um, melody. How did you feel? Were you asked to do that, or you did that on your own? Well, I was asked by Minister Robert Passat to um, sing the song. They said that all year they have a foreign artist, Destro and so on, uh, doing the campaign song. I was asked, but I was open. I was open to any political party. And Mahendra is not PPP, is not PNC, is not APNU, is not AFC. Mahendra is Mahendra. Mahendra is an entertainer. So I am here to perform to anybody. So I have been asked by Minister Robert Passat. And um, I also go live on TV and said, listen, I'm open for any other party. So it was a great feeling because what happened to the rally is free. And it's free entertainment for the public. And they all, you know what happened to that rally? Because of a campaign, they all, are you voting for the PPP? Put your hands in the air. Every single body hands in the air. So it was a beautiful atmosphere. I, I uh, video. When my hand touched the stage, I, I make it like a show. I said, listen, I'm not here to, to do any political calling or whatever. I'm here to entertain you. Well, I, I saw the video clips in New York City, and I'll tell you, I've posted it several, several times on my Facebook wall. I sent it out, the YouTube clip, and we loved it over there. I was just, like, dancing away all the time. I mean, it was a very, very hit song in New York. But I want to say one thing. I want to thank you guys, most of all. I want to thank all the DJs way back in, in New York, in Canada, in Trinidad and Tobago, in Guyana. Without the DJs, our song can't make it. Right. And I want to thank all the kids. You know who make this song, them are watching me popular? The children in the school. While they while they writing, girl, what are you watching my book for? What are you watching my pencil for? And uh, I, I can recall three weeks ago, I walk into my child's school, uh, the private school. I can't recall the name present now. But when I go in there, I have to get security. The children all get up on a seat. All was crazy. Uh -oh. We take out about 2,000 photographs. And I, I feel so happy getting out from the school that every single child, every single child my driver could have given one CD to. And they were so pleased. The mother called, tremendous call I get. Digital photo by button, capturing your memories. Please 